Well, actually, LGBTQI movement in Turkey, we have a very long history. Like uh, the uh, KSJ was founded in the early 90s. Uh, Lambda Istanbul and Istanbul was founded uh, also in the early 90s. And even before that, at the 80s, uh, we could witness that the trans women were on hunger strike in Gezi Park against the police violence. And uh, uh, like more than 30 years, uh, LGBTQI movement organized and tried to change the society in every aspect. Because uh, if you're a queer person, uh, the every aspect of life becomes your enemy. It's not only about like someone's feelings or it's not only about education, it's not only about media, it's not only about religion, it's all about everything and you have to actually fight in every aspect of life. At uh, GL, uh, we were organizing anti-homophobia local meetings around the country and in 2014 uh, we visited like the 41 cities of the country and Turkey has 81 cities. So this means half of the country. And I personally went to 25 of the cities. And some of them were very small cities and uh, usually seen as very conservative and Islamist cities. And uh, I was really anxious what will happen. But uh, the, they were very positive and it was very crowded events. And people had some questions uh, about, uh, it was not about what is lesbian, but it was about what can I do to just ease your life? I think mm -hmm. that's a huge step. and. The government's reaction to that social change was uh, like uh, leveling up the oppression and mm -hmm. uh, directly targeting LGBTQI movement as a criminal uh, organization, a threat to the uh, idea of the nation, a threat to the family and a threat to the children. I think that changed the approach of the government. Uh, now government is trying to actually block the change in the society. So it is not the case that society demands governments to act against LGBTQI people, yeah. but there is a like very strong homophobic and transphobic uh, political party in the power who's trying to actually avoid uh, the equality. And do you, do you think that there is actually something to fear by them? Like, um, I mean, they're cracking down on, on the LGBTQI plus community, but um, is there a reason for them, or, or is it just propaganda and acting, acting like um, they think they should, or, or is there something to fear for them? I don't think uh, that their motivation is about fear or uh, any other like um, sentimental motivation. I think they are uh, acting accordingly uh, to uh, their political agenda, and now they see LGBT crime movement as a uh, like strong political movement who has the potential uh, to just actually uh, change the society to a better place. And it is one of the uh, like uh, litmus tests of uh, the uh, democracy in uh, Turkey. But this is not new, actually. Uh, like um, recently, I have uh, written an article series about uh, AKP and MHP's LGBTQI policies starting from like uh, 2002 even early before and there are two strategies of the like AKP one is uh, to uh, just um, see LGBTQI issues uh, as a thing that should not be seen openly and publicly uh, and uh, as a thing that uh, they want to just push uh, out of the public space and this is not a new uh, strategy we see mm -hmm. like in even in 2003 uh, when there were a change in the law, feminist and women organizations and LGBTQI organizations demanded equality in the penal code. And uh, the answer was, oh, it is too early. The society is not ready. It's and not ready. No. They, 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 that's not true. The second issue is uh, directly using uh, violence towards LGBTQI people. And uh, this, uh, I, don't, I don't think this is something to change the agenda. LGBTQI uh, people are the agenda of the AKP, one of the main agendas, especially mm -hmm. after 2015. Like uh, in their Congress, actually, uh, it is said that we don't know because it was uh, close to the uh, press, but uh, some journalists were there and uh, they uh, told us that uh, they uh, openly discussed about what will we do about this LGBTQI uh, people. And because uh, it's not a manageable field for them, they don't mm -hmm. have the capacity to manage the LGBTQI uh, movement's uh, issues. Uh, that is the strategy of AKP, I guess. Uh, if someone wants their rights, uh, mm -hmm. they go, they divide that group, 
uh, put some of the members of that group into their like uh, uh, party uh, scene. And mm -hmm. that is that is enough. But with the LGBTQI people, they don't have that capacity and knowledge. So they cannot use their common strategy. So they have a new strategy, which is one of the oldest strategies, is, is like directly crackdown. attack and crackdown. Mm -hmm.